Parasite-derived cancer. That's the big news out of the November 5th, 2015 issue of the New England Journal of Medicine. We're talking a malignant transformation of a tapeworm inside a human host. And it's the first known report of what might be a wider phenomenon. It all began back in 2013 with a 41-year-old HIV-infected Colombian man in Medellin. He'd been diagnosed with HIV back in 2006, but he wasn't taking his prescribed medications. When he came to the doctor with symptoms of fatigue, fever, cough, and weight loss, they performed a CT scan and discovered lung and lymph node tumors. Next came a biopsy of the tumor tissue, and the results were weird enough to call in the CDC. The malignant cells acted like cancer, but their small size suggested a non-human origin. Plasmodial slime mold was an early suspect, but tests eventually revealed the presence of dwarf tapeworm DNA in the patient's tumors. The dwarf the dwarf tapeworm, or Hymenolopus nana, is the most common human tapeworm. Up to 75 million of us around the world have them, but they're usually limited to their home in the small intestines, and they don't cause any symptoms in their hosts. But in this case, the patient's immune functions were impaired by HIV. And researchers believe this allowed the parasites to proliferate, develop cancer, and essentially spread that cancer to the host. While this is the first known case of parasite-derived cancer, researchers warn that other malignant dwarf tapeworm transformations may be misdiagnosed as human cancer, especially in places where both HIV and dwarf tapeworm infections are widespread. And treating such a condition is a problem on its own. Anti-tapeworm drugs might prove useless against the cancer cells, and while human cancer treatments might work against the inhuman cancer cells, we've yet to prove anything out. It all provides more insight into the fascinating and grisly interactions between parasite and host. But what's your take on this topic? Let us know. And if you want more strange science in your life, be sure to visit now.howstuffworks.com each and every day.